Hi guys, Tracy with Tracy M Creations. I enjoy upcycling thrift finds, restoring furniture, doing DIY, and the occasional art project. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. In today's video, I'm using paper pulp pots used to start seeds in. I got them from the garden section at Walmart. A uh, good tip when you can't get the lid off of your paint um, I use a little piece of that shelf liner that keeps things from moving around. I'm using various colors of Waverly chalk paint to paint several of these pots. Um, let's see, I'm using celery, mineral, ivory, and cashew. And the last one I painted, I used the DIY paint in Apothecary, which is real close to the celery, but it has just a touch more blue in it. I let the paint thoroughly dry and then applied a coat of Waverly white wax to each pot and wiped down with a paper towel to remove any excess wax. And yes, I am clumsy. I'm going to stamp these with the smaller B from the IOD Queen Bee stamp set. This is my second set of IOD stamps and I just love them. I also have the crockery stamps and a few of the molds that I'm excited to try. Um, I hope to be using the molds in an upcoming video project real soon. Since the surface of these pots is pretty textured, the stamps don't come out super crisp. But that's okay because I still really like the way it looks. Now I'm taking floral foam and cutting it down to fit inside the pot. Am I the only one that thinks this stuff smells like seaweed? I don't know. Let me know if that's weird. After getting the foam in place, I'm hot gluing some moss on top to hide the foam before adding some florals. Using some faux lavender that I got from Walmart. This stuff looks so real and it was only $3.47 a bundle so uh, I bought several of them. I'm cutting off pieces from the bundle to the size I like and sticking them down through the moss into the foam. I start with the tallest piece in the middle and then put shorter pieces around it as I work my way around the pot and just keep adding stems till I get a pleasing look.
sometimes you got to take pieces out and put them back in and rearrange them until you get just the right balance. Thanks for watching today's video everybody. I have a lot of fun things coming up and I hope you'll stay tuned and see what's going on. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I sure appreciate it. Bye for now.